What's up guys? Uh, welcome. Uh, so I'm gonna say right off the bat, you know, this is gonna be an unconventional video. Uh, it's been something that I've been wanting to kind of say for a long time, but yet I have not found a way to reasonably go about it until the recent, uh, you know, drama, if you will, on YouTube, uh, which there seems to always be, which honestly blows my mind, uh, considering that it's just YouTube and stuff, but it just seems like it never stops. Um, and I, I'm really just going to get right into it. And I will say first that this is going to be just a straight video of me talking and saying what I've been wanting to say for a long time because I'm honestly just tired of seeing so many people being BS'd and told just garbage info uh, because of people wanting uh, views and stuff and, you know, clickbait videos all about this industry and them just saying anything just for them to collect that YouTube check. Uh, now, yes, I, I do, I make money off YouTube. Uh, but I am one of the smaller creators on here out of the Hot Shot group, or, you know, I should say Hot Shot, but out of the commercial driving group. Um, and I don't know, maybe that's just because I, I don't sit here with uh, clickbait and, and just telling things that new, you know, newcomers want to hear that, you know, oh, you know, I made $8,000 this week uh, in my pickup running from, you know, the tip of Vermont down to, um, you know, Southern California. Uh, and you could do it too. And I only spent $50 in fuel. Like, I'm just not into that stuff. And and that's kind of what this whole video is going to be about. I'm just, man, everyone lies. Everyone's so full of, it's just such BS. And man, this video is going to be hard to keep my mouth clean, but I have to for the ads. And and I have no problem saying that, you know, I, I enjoy making these videos, but you know, I'm also, uh, I enjoy making the money from it. Not that it's much, but the point is, is to invest your time and grow and maybe eventually one day you'll get there. But that's, that's not, you know, really the point right now. Uh, the point is, is that Y'all gotta stop feeding into all these people on YouTube that run pickup trucks uh, commercially. They're, they're all full of themselves. And I'm gonna start with, with Alex, with Toe Piglet. Um, and everything I say, I'm pretty much, you can back it up, whether it's their videos or evidence or whatever. Um, I think Alex is a good guy. I think he's cool. Um, I don't know him personally. We've talked on the phone many of times. Um, I think he is really just chasing money. I think he seems like a really hard worker. Uh, things along those lines. But his YouTube has become uh, a reality show. He feeds whatever crap, um, and, and just he—he's gonna tell you what you want to hear uh, to get that YouTube revenue. Um, I think he puts out some good content, but it's definitely gotten more clickbait. Or hey, any his whole thing is hey, anybody can just go hop in a pickup truck, and you're gonna make a ton of money, okay? And we all know that's not the case. Um, he, the way he runs his business is is really wish wash sometimes. Um, as you can see, you know, he put up that video the other day of him claiming that, oh, someone was running under his authority for, and he got caught and he got his, um, his insurance got canceled. But, you know, there was way more to that story. And instead of him telling the truth, he, um, you know, re-scripted it to make it look like some sort of event that he could put on YouTube. And that's exactly what he did. Uh, he, he changed the story around a lot a little bit um, to make a YouTube clickbait and, and that's all he does um, the best thing I compare his YouTube is to is, it's like a reality show that, that's really all it is it, it, he's got a, a hot shot reality show on YouTube is what it's become um, if any of y'all follow me on Facebook I'm sure y'all have uh, known this one I really don't have a problem with anybody um, you know, as far as content creators or anything like that, except for uh, Dave. And I, I don't care, I, it is what it is. I'm just being truthful. I don't like Hotshot Dave. I, I have a million reasons, um, but I'm not gonna get into really much of it besides the facts of, of what I think he does. And all of his videos are lies. They're, they're all BS. He's always coming up with some BS. They're just poor quality junk videos that he he's just feeding you random info that he believes is the best until he doesn't believe it anymore. And then he, he updates himself. And before y'all get mad, like I said, what I'm about to say, y'all can go look back and look at every single thing I'm about to mention. It's on his page. There, there's no lies or anything. I'm, this is info I've gathered over the last, you know, almost two years that I, I'm finally voicing my opinion on. Dave started out with, I get it was an old Ford single cab, uh, junk box, which is fine. I'm not hating on that. There's nothing wrong with that. 
and I guess a single car trailer. But anyway, where it starts to, I guess, get into his YouTube and stuff, is he eventually evolved into, you know, what he was formerly, you know, mostly known as, with that black third gen Cummins, that old used truck, and a three car trailer. And in his videos, he would always go on, oh, uh, my three car setup and my older used uh, truck is the best setup. It makes the most money. And okay, that's fine. You know, all he did was claim, no, I'm not gonna get a five car trailer, blah, blah, blah. I don't want a five car, a three car makes me more money for my business model. Okay, whatever. That's what he told everybody, okay? Then what does he do? He goes out and then he goes and buys a five car trailer. After ranting and raving that a three car and that he wouldn't go to a five car, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever, is what it is. Then he gets his five car, he's running it with the Ram. Then he starts trashing um, newer pickup trucks. Oh, warranties are a waste of money. You should never run a newer truck. Uh, older paid off trucks uh, are the way to go. You don't need nothing fancy, this and that. Well, what does, he then, what does he go do then? Then he goes and buys a brand new truck off the lot. Oh, well, new trucks are where it's at. There's less breakdowns. Uh, you'll the, the payment is cheaper than fix-ups. Uh, the warranty is a nice peace of mind while you have it, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Something different every day. Okay, then he starts going on about how his pickup truck now makes more money than a semi. Okay? And long story short, I'm not going to keep going on these lists. Uh, what does he go do? He buys a semi. And it's just, it never ends. It's something different every every couple months. He, he never has his own info right. And he's always trying to call somebody out. And the only reason he's actually calling somebody out is not because he cares, it's because it attracts attention. And guess what happens when it attracts attention, guys? He gets more ad revenue. It's all, it, all of this comes down to the dollar. That, that, that's really it. And I don't understand why so many people are having a hard time uh, realizing that and understanding that. He doesn't care about your business. He, he doesn't care about anything. He, all he does is care about that thumbs up, that subscription, and that view. Really, it, it's really just comes down to the view and the thumbs up. That's all he wants. Yeah, he might reply to comments. He might send you a couple messages here and there. He might care a little bit, but he's on there doing this content creation and, and everything else on YouTube for money, guys. That's it. He doesn't care about your business. He doesn't care if you if you go out of business in, in a week. It's not his problem. Uh, you know, there's and then there's other guys. Um, who else? Load Miser. He's newer. Um, I actually met Load Miser in person. He bought my old car trailer. I'm gonna be honest with you. He, he puts out stout info. I really don't have a problem with him. Um, there's really not much to say about him. I, I think all the stuff that he does post is pretty well rounded and I think he backs it up. Uh, he doesn't get too intensive of, of facts or clickbait or I mean not facts, opinions and clickbait and stuff. Um, he did post in his last video about you know him, it was his two cents, just I guess kind of like what I'm doing right now. The only thing I didn't really agree with is that he said, you know, I'm only on YouTube to help, not for money. Well, I mean, I don't know if I could agree with that. If, if you're that into helping, then then why are your ads on stuff like that? That's the only thing I could really come up with. But I, all in all, I think he's a nice guy. I, I, I don't have a problem with him. Uh, on the road, he is, um, I've never actually, he's one of the only guys I've ever talked to. He, he posts good content, but I think he's another Alex. Just, I think he runs his business straight, but he's just like Topic. It's just, it's just a reality show, really. I think he puts out some good info and this and that, but you know, he's always like, oh, I made $7,500 a week this week, here's how, or it's just always some, some clickbait, you know, stuff like that. And I guess he's more in the neutral area. He's growing really fast. He does put out quality content. Um, he's got, and he's got more subs than I do. So I have no problem with that. Um, besides that, you know, the only person I can think of that I think is fully clean cut is, is South Georgia Hotshot. And guys, here's why. Um, I've actually never even really talked to Robert either. It, him, you know, South Georgia Hotshot and On The Road, I, they're the only ones I really never talked to as far as YouTube commercial drivers. Um, and if y'all really think about it, uh, South Georgia Hotshot, guys, he's not sitting here, oh, I made this much money this week, or here's how to save money, or, or blah, blah, blah. South Georgia Hotshot's literally, in my opinion, he, he's just a vlogger that happens to run uh, you know, non-CDL hotshot and he makes it work. I think his videos are hilarious. I really like them. Uh, I don't get to watch all of them or because I'm always busy either working or, or something along those lines. I really don't get to watch uh, that much YouTube, but I feel like he's really the only one that doesn't sit there 
and and piss around. And he literally will gripe and, and, and tell y'all how it is. And I, I just think he's one of the only ones that truthfully is 100% of how garbage all of this can be, uh, besides myself. But I don't want to sit here and, and be like, oh, everyone else sucks and I'm just great. Because that's, I don't know, I just don't feel like that, that's genuine. So all in all, this whole rant, what I'm getting at, guys, and if you've made it this far, is, guys, they don't care. None of them care. They're on here uh, because they get enjoyment out of out of editing videos and stuff and, and hopefully to make money off of the ad revenue. That's all this is. Yes, I, I'm not saying they're all terrible people. I'm not saying that they're all out to get you. Yes, they might they might give you good info, but y'all need to take, y'all can't just jump into this industry because Toe Piglet said that you could stuff $8,000 in your pocket every week or $4,000 or $5,000. I'm not taking those numbers directly, but I'm just saying from clickbait titles. Just like, uh, you know, on the road, he does the same thing. Oh, I, I made $7,500 this week. Come on, man. Y'all are clickbaiting into making people think that, they, that we're all just lining money in our pockets. And, and then you have all these newcomers come along that don't know anything. And they're, they're bouncing back from Cali to PA, Cali to PA for a dollar thirty a mile with three partials running, you know, three picks, three drops. And, and it's just, y'all are over fantasizing this all because you're trying to make some YouTube ad revenue. I just, I can't get over it. If y'all want to get into this industry, if you like trucks and trailers, if you like being your own boss, if if those things you genuinely, genuinely like, then by all means, I encourage y'all to get into it. If you're getting into this, oh, SD card cut off. All right, so back to what I was saying. Uh, if you're getting into this for all the right reasons, I fully support you guys. I'm not worried about competition. Uh, but do it if you're working some regular job and you have no interest in this at all whatsoever if you're getting into this just because you think that you're going to come out of the gate swinging going to buy a brand new ninety thousand dollar truck pulling in eight nine grand a week uh because you know toe piglet said so or your buddy said so or some jack at, at the pilot said oh yeah man i'm raking it in uh you know or it's easy it's not guys and for an example today's a perfect example i had nothing booked this one day which was kind of odd i woke up sick as can be okay i felt horrible and guess what i got a call last second um of something that needed to be moved and guess what here we are taking it no i did not want to I, but you got to do what you got to do this is not i'm not going to get home till uh 10 o'clock okay 10, 11 o'clock at night, and I got out of bed at, uh, I don't know, 8.30 or 9 or something like that. So keep that in mind, guys. That there are pros to this, but there's lots of negatives. Um, all in all, I'm going to end it on that because this is getting really long. Uh, if y'all can just do take one thing out of this video, if you get into this business or want to get into this business, get into it for the right reasons, and you figure out how to succeed. Stop following all of these YouTubers how to run your business. You need to figure out what you need to make. You need to figure out your rates uh, and don't take cheap stuff, okay? Make wise decisions, think it through. If you got any questions, leave them down below and I'll do what I can. I'll see y'all in the next one. And uh, that's it guys.